Greetings gamers, welcome to Access Euphoria and welcome to a new series. This is Rebuilding Palermo on Football Manager 2021. I am pumped. This I think is going to be a really cool, interesting series. It's going to take us a while to get done so we can get our teeth stuck in. We can do youth signings and the conveyor belt and regen hunting, all the good stuff that I love doing and obviously build the club up from bottom to top. Now, it was going to be Gothenburg and there was other things touted around, but I was having a little flick through some comments of other clubs that have been suggested, and I just happened to be looking around Italy. Um, obviously, previously last year, we sort of had a bit of a say with Venezia, and so I was just checking out Serie C and spotted Palermo. Now, they were actually in Serie D last year, so they weren't in, and I wouldn't have noticed them last year when I was looking at Venezia. But yeah, obviously due to financial irregularities and that's kind of rife in Italy. Uh, obviously we know about Juventus and various other things that's been going on. But they've been relegated down as far as Serie D. Last season they got themselves back up into Serie C. But what a great kind of rebuilding job this would be. They used to have such players in a team as... Um, Edison Cavani, a very young Dybala and various other really, really good players. And that is just like, wow, a club that had that kind of talent has dropped so far out of the, the firing line and of the spotlight. And I feel like they would make an excellent choice to rebuild and get some glory, turn them into a European superpower. So hopefully you're going to enjoy it, guys. Let's jump in and find out a bit more about Palermo and let's rebuild them. So here we are, we are at Palermo, breaking news. One thing I will just point out here though is how, like I says, welcome Access Euphoria, all that, you know, that's good. Um, but Palermo, they couldn't afford the additional O there? Are they on a budget maybe? I, I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, Palermo was all that could be done there, which is interesting. Either way, we have been hired at Palermo. If we have a little click on there, you can see... Clubs won a few bits. Now, nothing major. They've not actually won, like, Serie A uh, in their history, but they have won a, a few things in a round. Now, obviously, they kind of progressed up, and quite sort of semi-recently, they were in Europa League ties. They was in uh, finishing fifth in a league with, like I mentioned, likes of Cavani and so on. So they were obviously right up there, but a lot of sort of financial woes and relegations have kind of cemented them down in the doldrums and we need to try and pick them back up and turn them into something i mean you do kind of recognize the pink and black kits of plomo you know they they are one that stands out not a lot of clubs have that kind of color so i i do quite like that as well but you can sort of read about them there we've got a big stadium <clears throat> obviously it's really old now 1932 so built before even the world war ii but we've got great training facilities good youth facilities adequate youth recruitment so we've got a good base uh, but I think that's not going to be our major issue. We are predicted 7th, and there's obviously three Serie Cs, and it gets all confusing in Serie C, there's playoffs and all that kind of jazz. But if we can at least try and maybe get ourselves out of this division this year, that would be kind of the main thing. Now, they're kind of going with a 4-3-1-2. Now, one kind of enforced rule I've put on this series is it's Italy. Italy is kind of known for I definitely what I associate let me know if you do too but I associate Italy with three at the back tactics you know I feel like it's kind of their thing you know Juventus and so on made it quite popular with like the Cellinis and so on at the back there so we will 100% be using a three at the back tactic you know the, the the rest of it can kind of be interchanged and swapped and do whatever but there will be at least three at the back probably some wing backs and then we'll sort of decide from there what we want to do but I feel like that's one kind of rule I've put on myself just because we're in Italy and I feel like you've got to adjust to your surroundings. You can see here they want attacking football, develop players using the youth system. You know, I like signing young players, so that shouldn't be a major issue. Work with them wage budgets and then reach playoffs as minimum. And then kind of next season, they want in Serie B promotion. So we do have a year to kind of rebuild if needed. But I'm really hoping we can maybe get in the playoffs and get ourselves through the playoffs and promotion to Serie B where we can then just kind of continue that rebuild job and, and see what happens. The kind of first goal, really, is to reach Serie A, very similar to sort of Venezia. You know, if we can get a good run of form up and then take that kind of confidence in Serie B, there's not a major gap between most of the teams, so we might be able to then do a double double bounce, as we did with Venezia, and then you really do feel the kind of the heat when you get to the top there. 
And here we are in the club itself then, so you can see we've taken the hot seat, we've got a two year deal which is new, I'm sure you used to only get one year deals in FM, but we've got a two year deal there. You can see straight off the bat that a lot of the contracts expiring include a lot of older players, so I definitely feel like, and you do tend to get this with lower league clubs, that you've kind of amassed a lot of the older players dropping down the divisions, but you can see there are definitely a lot of those, a lot of contracts expiring, which I don't feel like will be extending, and maybe even trying to offload a lot of these players as well, uh, sort of now to kind of raise funds. Tactic-wise, in terms of tactic, I will be, I am, if you don't know already, competing in FM Premier League this year as Burnley, obviously Drew Big Burnley, the best team in the league, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm kind of working on a three at the back tactic. For that one, it was more aimed at I want to just try and go out there and score goals. And, you know, I don't want to, because it's Burnley and it's a Premier League. End of day, you're not going to win many prizes if, with Burnley kind of finishing 16th, for think they predicted. So I thought I might as well go hell for leather and try and either get like top six and maybe cause a few upsets on the, method, on the way or we get spanked and get relegated. Doesn't really matter to me, but we might as well go for it. So I'm kind of adapted a bit of that tactic because it uses to be at the back for this save. And then we'll kind of just work on it and uh, tweak it to kind of this team and this league and so on. But it's kind of like a base because I've already kind of been working on that tactic ready for the Burnley FM Premier League. So that's the kind of rough basis. Vision expectations, we've already looked at that one. Squad selection, 25, one, under 19 players. Yep, cool, that's fine. Yeah, everything looks pretty normal there. For what I remember, there's nothing too special other than you cannot sign foreign players. Um, so basically, you can only sign EU players in Serie C and Serie B, I think. So that's kind of the only thing really to, to remember from there. In terms of the tactic then, so this is what I just mentioned, um, and we'll make a few tweaks as we go. But it's kind of three at the back, sweep keeper, but defensive. Got a couple of ball playing defenders either side to help play the ball around but then just kind of a, a no-nonsense player in the middle that is when the kind of balls are played through and it's down to them, I don't want them kind of fanning around, playing, passing the ball around. I want to just oof it out. So that's kind of why I've gone with that role there. Wingbacks, obviously on either side. We've got Mizalas because they do drift wide and it will kind of double up a little bit on them wide areas when needed. Advanced playmaker will go and get involved there. We're having three at the back and then wingbacks to cover. We should be all right that we can spare a few extra attacking bods and then the double advance forwards who can sort of drift around and obviously chase down balls, but also be in the centre to score. So that's the rough tactic. We're going positive. We're pretty high on the intensity of things. Not like ultra, ultra up there, but it is pretty high. You do, just like I said in previous days, like in the Leeds one, you do tend to just drift that way anyway. And it's kind of how, how I like playing. But we may change and tweak that if it's not quite working for us. In terms of squad then, if we have a little look at them, obviously using my squad view now, we can see that we don't have an amazing squad here in various positions. So look like goalkeeper, not a lot of depth there, a little bit weak. Centre back wise, so if we go by position, like this summer guy looks really good. Marconi looks good. Almichi, who's like a right wing back, they look good. But then it kind of thins out pretty quickly after that. Uh, left hand side, we do have this guy on loan, so you know not ideal. They're on loan. Not paying them any wages though, so that is a benefit. They're not amazing looking, but we've got to remember we are in like the third tier of Italy now, so we're not going to have like world class players. Obviously, coming from that lead save where I'm used to much bigger numbers than this, but we'll have to see how they get on. Their contract is expiring with Inter, so they do have five star potential. If we can maybe pop this guy in a free, he might develop and be a decent backup player. We'll have to see, but. We're definitely going to be targeting the free transfers and regens and things like that in this save. We've got some decent midfielders. Moses Odgia there. We've got Jeremiah Bro. I just want to say Bro. You know, that kind of like Bro. I like doing America for his name. Uh, Luperini, he looks all right. Valente, who is a winger. Can play a striker, but only has nine finishing, ten composure. Worth a bit of money. Might look to offload this guy. If we look at the actual contracts, I'm not going to be playing with wingers in this tactic, so any wingers we could probably offload off the bat here. I'm feeling like we might be able to offload a good amount of thousands, you know, a good like maybe four or five grand off the wage budget, which then means we can use it for other players. If we look at the finances, guys, you can see we do have a bit of a transfer budget, not a major one. Not probably going to be able to buy anyone, that's kind of like how it is. 
in terms of like what's available, it's start the game, so there's generally not much. That money I will be saving for the end of the sort of the January end of season when the sort of contracts expire and come up. That is what we've got to try and hammer this year and probably even next year as well. Until basically until we get into Serie A and maybe hopefully have a bit bigger budget and bigger pull of players, scouting range, all that kind of jazz for the regens. Until then, I think we're going to prey on the big clubs releasing some decent young players, tapping them up developing, selling them on for a profit. That's kind of what we're looking at there, guys. Now, we don't have much of a wage budget, so that's kind of why I'm thinking offload some players we're not using. Even if we sell them for free, we get them off the wage bill, and that is then huge for us. You can see various teams in here. Catania actually do start with minus two point difference. I mean, just standard. Um, I was actually looking before this at Monopoly because I play Monopoly all the time with our, with our lass on the Switch, and I thought, oh, that, that kind of... So cool, uh, Monopoly, but I do know that Jack worked the space to the series with them last year, so I felt like there'd be loads of people in comments just going, oh, you're just copying Jack, so I can't be asked for that. Um, and Palermo seems like a really decent challenge. So, yeah. Oh, one thing I will mention, Bari, boring. Don't go to Bari. Been there, went on there a cruise, so boring. <laughs> Don't go there. Anyway, that's kind of you roughly kind of caught up with things guys really i don't think there's too much else to mention in terms of just kind of welcoming you to the club don't want to make this video go on super long but this is just the introduction video now what i am going to do is skip ahead to basically just before that first game and show you transfers any little bits and bobs that's been going on in the club and then obviously the next episode we can actually get it stuck into the league games so join me back in a flash and let's look at some transfers just like that we are through it then guys so you can see the friendlies Played mostly kind of beatable teams uh, for the most part. Um, we started with 0-0, but then we got on a decent run. 3-1, 2-1, 4-0, 3-0. And our first game is against B Sigle. B Sigle? I don't know. I'm going to massively butcher these Italian pronunciations. I do apologise in advance, guys. But if you've been with my content for a while, you know it's never good pronunciations. But we will be playing that game and Vibonese in the next episode now for today's one then let's have a quick flick over at how the lineup is roughly looking you might recognize a few names in here so it's it's been a busy old kind of summer period we've had a few injuries as well which hasn't helped we are missing a few important players for this game now you do have 12 subs and i can't even fill the bench up really and i don't think i really need to the only other player or position i'm kind of looking at is maybe just an extra bit of cover in that central midfield so I might have a quick little last look for some lone players in that sort of area um, and I am tempted because I do have the option to terminate this loan for the striker but the thing is if I go and try and find someone else better than who on loan you generally end up paying money and he's free it'll only be like a backup because I've got two other guys we'll sort of see now a few loans have had to come in because there's not a major Amount of players available, and don't want to just kind of waste money on players that are only going to do as a season. You know, can buy like a 27 year old that's going to be great for this league, but rubbish above. It, it's just a bit of rubbish. I'd rather keep that money, just conserve cash everywhere possible. Because one thing I didn't show you in the first sort of segment was finances, and we are projected to lose a lot of money. You can see end of the season, almost a million, then almost three, and then almost four and a half million. So we're going to lose a fair old whack of cash. We need to get up to the big boys ASAP. We are okay finances, but I think we're going to need serious injection into the club from the board to keep us going. We have obviously sold some players. We've got one point, almost three million in the bank, 910,000, which is going to be awesome for when we are trying to poach some of them transfer contracts expiring, things like that. To pay off agent fees and we can even move it towards the budget for wages which has increased with offloading a lot of players so 6.75k in terms of players i have offloaded but yeah you can see them all there 375k worth uh valente he was the one that was worth about 200 odd thousand the winger but we got an offer of that i'm pretty happy with that he gets money in the club he gets a big wage i think you're like three grand or so What's he on now? Yeah, it was about three grand, I think, with us. So it's a big wage to get rid of. Uh, Martin on loan, 650 wages, um, which is good. Lancini, that got rid of like another 600 odd, I think, on him. 23k in the bank as well. And you can see lots of players. A lot of them were like fringe players that were just like not good. They were going to be like backup players. 
but we're paying like seven, eight hundred pounds a week for them. If we're not going to use them, I might as well get rid of them and either replace them with someone. I've got a couple of frees, a couple of loans that we can then maybe develop for profit or that we're not paying very much money on. And, and just, yeah, trying to balance the books. I wanted money available. Uh, we did sell a player to you, Monopoly as well. Renate, uh, Canutia went over there. He were on a decent sum of money. And yeah, that's kind of like most of it, really. There was a few guys on like a couple of grand here and there, but most of them were like under a grand. But obviously, we've got rid of maybe, let's say, 10. So that adds up in the end. So I think we've done a good bit of business, got them out. In terms of the ins, then, Froman, Constantin Froman. I had another Italian goalkeeper on trial as well, who looked pretty good, but they're basically identical. And this guy just wanted less money, so we kind of went for him. He's down as been a backup, but he will be our first choice keeper. It looks pretty decent for this level. Three star with a bit of potential to grow. He's only 22 years old, the German, coming from uh, Freeburg. He was on loan last year and has been released on a free. So if you're in need for a goalkeeper, then go check them out. Uh, a lot of these I did just by filtering out the expired contracts by certain stats and just various things like that. Found a few little gems, I think. Jao Silva was the next one, a centre-back who is three-star with four-and-a-half-star potential, 22 years old, Portuguese, valued at £200,000. He's been released from Bissigli in Serie C, it looks like. Although, no, actually, no, yeah, it was a trial, that was a trial. Yeah, so he'd been, he didn't actually in this league before, so six appearances there, Trapani, 20 appearances, Serie B with Palermo, he's actually with us before, I just noticed that, a Juventus, he's had quite a few clubs over this time, but let's see if we can provide him a home for him to develop, he looks like he could be decent, to be honest. We then got Joe Gelhart on loan, now, I had to go back to Leeds, I've just done a lead save for the beta, for the beta and... This guy, this guy and Sam Greenwood have been really good youngsters, and I kind of thought, well, actually, let's see if we can get one of them on loan. They may just provide us a nice bit of firepower for relatively cheap money. They wanted a grand a week. Um, he's on about four grand, I think, wages at Leeds, uh, five now, actually. So I think that's a decent kind of amount there, but he's really good. I think for this division, he will tear things up, hopefully, anyway. Now, I did also then go out and get Hakim Ganouche, who is a French left back can play wing back so that's where we'll be using him but he's got four and a half star potential three star current ability he just looks all around a pretty solid decent young 20 years old wing back and so i think he'll do decent for, for us on that left hand side because we did have a decent right wing back unfortunately he's injured uh, manuel di paolo he is a italian 22 years old worth 210k three star with potential Kind of all round midfielder, you know, he plays the Mazzard roles, he can play a playmaker, he can play box to box if we change it to that. You know, he's kind of well rounded without being spectacular, if you get my mean. So I think for this level, absolutely great. And, you know, he's worth money, which is the main thing. You know, I've shipped out a lot of the older players, not worth anything, replaced them with younger players that if we can maybe develop them and get like next year a couple, couple hundred thousand, then that's great. We've got money that we can then spend on even better players. Danny Motta then on loan from Monza. He is a really decent striker, to be honest. He is a Luxemburger on loan from Monza, who are in Serie B, so in the division above us. But he looks really solid. Mostly likes to play a winger, but look at that. Advance forward with those sort of stats for this division. I think him and Geldart could really, really sort of shine this year and hopefully bang us a lot of goals. So, yeah, I think that's kind of a decent deal. I can't remember if his, no, his contract isn't expiring. We then do have Sepp van der Berg. I wanted a bit of depth in the centre-back region. We went for this guy. Again, one grand a week on his wages. Not too bad for a player that's going to be a starting player. He's got potential. And, you know, he is on a long contract there. But we have signed him for a two-year loan because I kind of felt like this guy would be one that would develop quickly with us. And so he would improve to a Serie B quality next year. And it just means it's one less player I kind of need to worry about replacing next year. But we can always terminate the loan. I've put the clause in to terminate if we want to. So, yeah, that's the kind of transfers, guys. Hopefully, they all look decent to you. So, we've not really spent much money there, but that's the idea. And I want to save the money and spend that on the freebies. And hopefully, for it's going to be for um, Serie B. But, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now, then, this is a squad. I've told you about the, the teams coming up. 
that's kind of it, guys. I don't want this episode to go on for mega, mega, mega long. But if you've got this far, drop me down in the comments down below what you think of the transfers, what you think of the club, and just in general, maybe even like put us a special word so I know that you've got this far. Write down, write Barry is rubbish. <laughs> Barry is rubbish. Now, if you're from Barry, I do apologize. But yeah, I went down the cruise, not good. So if you've got this far in the video, write Barry is rubbish, and I will like all those comments, and I'll pick one of you specially, and you might just find yourself in the game as a regen when we start getting some regens. I do like to do giveaways and stuff, so this will be my saying thank you for getting this far in the video. So Barry is rubbish, thank you very much. I'll see you for the next one where we've got two games to kick off our Serie A C campaign as we begin rebuilding Palermo.